What's the quicker city car? Well, today we've got three top selling EVs, a moped and a petrol car. So let's go racing. Representing the increasingly mainstream world of electric hatchbacks that you might meet at the traffic lights, we've got a stylish Renault Zoe in high grade iGT line trim, complete with a 50 kilowatt hour battery and 135 electric motor. Next, we've got a sensible but pungy Nissan Leaf in E plus N connector form that produces 215 horsepower with its motor and 62 kilowatt hour battery. And then we have a Volkswagen ID3 in first edition pro power form, using a 58 kilowatt hour battery to offer 204 horsepower. Our petrol car is the peppy and fun Ford Fiesta ST line, and while its turbocharged three-cylinder engine is down on punch with 125 horsepower, it is substantially lighter than those EVs, and it has six gears. Although when it comes to weight, the top of the range Neo MQI GT Evo, a dream electric moped for commuters and delivery riders alike, wins hands down. It has only nine horsepower from a 3.74 kilowatt hour battery and motor, but it tips the scales at just 128 kilograms. I've eaten heavier desserts than that. So, back to our question, which of this lot is the quickest city vehicle? First, we'll pit that trio of electric hatchbacks against each other in a drag race before letting the winner loose with our petrol car and the moped. I'm behind the wheel of the Leaf at the start, George is driving the Zoe, and Frieda's in the ID3. Here goes. So, I'm in the Nissan Leaf, which uh, is not the sort of car a drag racing enthusiast would choose first time round. What are you guys in? George, you're in a, well, you look very fancy. I've never driven a Renault Zoe, but it feels nice. Uh, I'm quite excited. Get ready for the most exciting race of your life. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, this is closer than I thought it would be. Come on. Come on, Leaf. Come on. He has got me. He has got me well and truly. So, it's a victory out of the gates for the ID3, which somehow, despite not being as powerful, just beats the Nissan Leaf across the line, leaving the Zoe trailing in both cars as electric dust. That means the Volkswagen progresses to our second race, where it faces the petrol Fiesta and that quirky electric moped. I'm on the latter, while George has hopped into the Ford, leaving Frida feeling pretty confident in her ID3. Place your bets. I can't explain right now how happy I am. I'm not you, Sam. <laughs> George looks just as happy to not be you as well. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Come on, my man, come on! Sam is head down, being as aerodynamic as possible. Come on, little Neo! I don't want to call it before I've seen the playback, but uh, I think I might have won that one, guys. So that's another dominant performance by the ID3, which comfortably beats our Fiesta across the line despite weighing 600 kilograms or a whole Caterham 7 more than the hatch. Further evidence that a light curb weight isn't enough of an advantage here comes with the little MQI GT Evo, which gets a good start and feels properly nippy from behind the handlebars, but can't quite keep up the pace of our cars when it's rolling. Perhaps things will be a little different when it comes to our second race format, which uses a 20 mile per hour rolling start to test which vehicle is quickest at picking up speed. We're starting again with our trio of electric hatchbacks, with me back in the Leaf and George back in the Zoe. Can Frida and the ID3 make it three out of three? Renault Zoe, this is your time to shine. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, that up is rapid, but we're so close. No chance. Blimey, can anything stop this Volkswagen? It secures another dominant victory over the Leaf and the Zoe, despite not having the most muscle of the three. Frida goes into our second rolling race feeling smug, but could the Fiesta, with its six gears to keep that engine on the boil, ruin her day? And could the Neo slice through the air for a last minute surprise? It's pedal to the metal, or uh, in my case, a full twist of the accelerator. Frida's looking overly confident. Three, two, one, go. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I up my gear change. Once again. So, there we have it. 
Despite being bigger and heavier than its rivals, the ID3 found the Fiesta and Niu no match and it makes it 4 out of 4 in our city vehicle race day. When it comes to getting off the line quickly or accelerating from 20 miles per hour, out of this bunch, the Volkswagen ID3 in pro power form is our clear champ. Of course, we shouldn't be too surprised, as it will crack 62 miles per hour in just over 7 seconds, which is warm hatch rather than sensible hatch pace. So perhaps next time, we should see how it fares against hot stuff, like, you know, a properly red-blooded Fiesta ST. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you like this video, and get subscribing to our channel for more content like this, and some other stuff as well. See you soon.